continue this series, part two of Uncovering Artifacts in Physical Analyzer, we are now going to dig a little bit deeper into chat applications. I honestly do not know anyone that probably does not chat on their mobile device. That's usually why we all have these phones. Most people install third-party chat applications because they want privacy, they believe it's secure, or they believe their history is never gonna haunt them when they send a message that they later regret. So what we're gonna look at here is go straight into chats. And I can see immediately everything from Facebook to Snapchat, Tango, Viber, many chat applications of interest. Again, what I recommend is that you select a chat. Here I'm choosing Kick Messenger. I wanna go over and verify my sources again, and we can see the Kick database is being parsed and the tables that it's parsing, as well as a preference file. Something that you may find that's very helpful is if you switch this to conversation view. If you provide a simple spreadsheet of just 30,000 text messages and conversations going back and forth, it may not be easy for juries, other investigators, or prosecutors to actually identify the importance of it. However, if you have a conversation view exactly like the user saw it on their device, that's powerful. That is definitely going to speak a thousand words and possibly add all the context you need. You can also export these views straight from Physical Analyzer. I strongly recommend putting data in your report this way. Now, if you believe that there's more and you're just not seeing it, if you go to Tools, we currently have a feature called Run Fuzzy Model Plugin. This is eventually going to be renamed to the App Genie. And what it does is it scans your entire data dump to see are there any other databases containing application data, such as contacts, call logs, chat messages, and location. Where this data goes is in alphabetical order, and on the left-hand side, we can see we have fuzzy events and fuzzy objects. When you find one of these that's of interest to you, you can simply click on it, and it will show you anything that's in that database that maybe you cared about. So for example, words framework. This is words with friends. Most people overlook the simple gaming applications. Most people wanna talk while they're gaming. So here we can see we have 19 chat messages in Words with Friends. We also have all the users that played it. People commonly reuse names over and over again. So I am hmaholic11 on a lot of these gaming apps. When you find that, that becomes a new keyword for you to search using the skills you had previously learned. 